Hello and welcome to the newest Let's Play on this channel, Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Now one viewer of the channel has been waiting for this for 11 months as of recording this. When this finally goes out, it's going to be even further, so Snoopy, I'm sorry. The reason I'm starting here is merely because of the reason that this game has a really cool starting animation. So I just wanted to let that play out before we actually get into the rest of the game. So, let's just sit back, relax, and get an introduction to Danganronpa. Some odd reason that text was a bit pixelated, but oh well. <laughs> meeting the original cast right now. So I know that there's a few games that go in, in tandem with this original game. We'll talk a bit more about that when the time comes. And the weirdo that is Manokuma. And there we have it. That is the introduction to Danganronpa, otherwise known as Trigger Happy Havoc. Or that's technically supposed to be the first title. Seeing as how the second and third titles each have their own uh, respective titles. I'll be playing this on my controller that I have that technically the game registers as a gamepad. The only one that I have available to me that I can actually use to function on the computer is uh, a PS4 controller. So I don't know if that'll actually affect anything. And, uh, I would have preferred to play on mouse and keyboard. But as I was trying to get this menu to work before, and that's the whole reason that I brought up the original thing, uh, my mouse cursor wouldn't exist, so I don't know what that was all about. I'm really happy that I'm getting around to recording this right now, because one channel that I actually like watching myself actually just started their own Let's Play of this exact game. Uh, they're gonna be doing shorter episodes, uh, the shout out for them is, uh, ProZD Plays Games, uh, with Jay. I mean, you can't not really not say that because he's been in every episode and he will be in every episode continuing on, but it's just funny that the channel is just dedicated to one person, but oh well. With, with these episodes that I'm gonna be recording now, I'm gonna catch up right away, so I don't want to spend too much time just, uh, ignoring everything and I want to get right into the action. Before we go any further, I do want to lend out a giant, giant warning. This game it deals with uh, children killing each other, so if that's not your prerogative. I am highly recommend that you toss yourself out for a while. <laughs> Let's get going. Uh, I want my... I'm gonna be playing in English simply because that's where a giant portion of my audience is, so I'd rather have that as is. Uh, let's see. Logic difficulty. Action difficulty. Uh, something tells me that this is just gonna be normal difficulty, so I'm just gonna leave it as is. I don't... I'm merely just going in for the story. I don't want anything other than that. I myself, as uh, a giant part of the community, this art is phenomenal. What? <laughs> Ooh. 
the, the game starts off with a death cinematic. Oh, that is not what I was expecting. I was expecting the camera to pan down onto the floor. <laughs> That's a lovely introduction. The massive high school towers over all the other buildings in this bustling urban area. It's like this it's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. Hope's Peak Academy. It brings in top students from every field imaginable. A government funded school of privilege. They say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. Originally, I thought there was going to be voice acting, because I know that the third game does. That's the only one that I've ever remotely seen, so... I'm thinking maybe there'll be voice acting later. If not, you better get ready for me to read a lot. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. There are two things you need to attend. There are two things you need to attend this school. Hmm. That, I don't know why reading that felt weird. One, you have to have already you have to already be attending high school, and two, you have to be the very best at what you do. No ordinary students can enroll here. The only way in is if you're scouted by the school itself. And standing there at the gate of the ultimate school, filled with the ultimate students... ...was me. And who is you, exactly? Before we go any farther, I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Makoto Naegi. Makoto Naegi, okay. I believe I've... I recognize this voice actor for some odd reason. I can't... I can't quite pin a character that he's done before. As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopelessly average high school student. Uh, then why are you here? Average on the outside, average on the inside. I really don't have much going for me when it comes to grades, special abilities, even personality. I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff like that I like to do, but it's not like I'm a psychic or mutant or whatever. Like, if you asked me what my favorite song was, or my favorite movie or TV show, they'd all just be whatever's most popular at the that particular moment. Even among the average, I'm completely average. So, I can't even say I'm your everyday hero type. That's just who I am. Anyway, I figure it's a, always a good time to introduce yourself right off the bat. But you know, if I have any kind of strong point, so to speak, I'd say I'm a little more gung-ho than other people. Hmm. So, just initiative. I mean, look at me, I'm completely ordinary, but still, here I am, standing in front of the, in front of the anything but ordinary Hope's Peak Academy. I still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me can survive in a place like this. He's got this overwhelming presence, like it's trying to swallow me whole. It's no wonder I, f I would feel that way. What we have to understand is, well... Let me just tell you about the preparation I did last night to get ready for today. Oh, what the hell? Okay. Uh, Hope's Peak only invites those students who are truly elite in their field. Uh, hmm. So he's gotten a letter. Come on, keep it coming from an from anonymous from 2010. Hmm. Interesting. It's such a popular topic, there are trend there are threads online dedicated to talking about the school's attendees. So to prepare, I looked up some of those threads. And all I saw was talk about ultimate students who were way beyond your average high schooler. Uh, 
idol group? Okay, for example, one incoming student is the ultimate pop sensation. An idol. I guess she's a high school girl who also is the lead singer of a pop group famous all over the country. Uh, the ultimate baseball star. He was the cleanup hitter for the national high school champs. Pro teams already have their eyes on him. Then there's the ultimate fashionista. For some odd reason, I've seen this girl's face a lot. Junko Inoshima. She's been on the cover of tons of fashion magazines. She's what every high school girl wants to be. Oh, I was about to say the ultimate Yakuza, but... Oh, and they mentioned the ultimate biker gang leader, too. I mean, I guess, if you can get your license. The scary thing is, he's the de, de facto leader of every biker gang in Japan. Gangs everywhere love the guy. Huh. I guess if you are the ultimate biker gang leader, every gang would like you and not just be the head of one. On top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist, the ultimate fanfic creator, ugh, the ultimate gambler, the ultimate swimming pro, the ultimate programmer, the ultimate clairvoyant, and then some... Reading that made me realize how totally powerless I was. It was the country's finest, top to bottom. I felt like a tame little house cat who'd wandered into a pride of lions. Uh, before I keep going, I want to make sure that I read what's on the screen. Come on, keep it coming. Apparently my friend kind of knows them. I guess everything, there's a state of the art. This year's ultimate pop sensation is going to be going there. Okay, so they're talking about Junko. Yeah, the ultimate baseball pro is going to be there too. So jealous. It's only for winners. How can anyone even get in? Anyone can't. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. So, essentially just learning who's all going to be there is what Makoto is learning about. But still, there was something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there were a few students who I couldn't find any info on. No matter how much I looked. With all those ultimate students, I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. But then... What about those other new students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Could they just be average students like me, without any talent or anything? That thought was kind of encouraging. I mean, I know I don't have much in the way of personality, but beyond that, there's an even bigger issue. How did such an unbelievably average student like me get picked to become this, come to this ultimate high school? I mean, I guess there is a reason. You just have to make one glance at the acceptance letter they sent me to see why. Mr. Makoto Nagi. He recently held a lottery. Oh. Just selected one ordinary student to attend our school. As a result, you have been selected. Included is an orientation guide. Sorry, Makoto. Okay, as a result, you have been selected as we invite you to join us, the ultimate lucky student. I'm glad I skipped over that in the midsection. <laughs> that just puts it, <laughs> puts it in perspective. They spelled it out as plain as day. I got invited by pure luck. Wait, so if he's the ultimate lucky student, then doesn't that just mean that he's, his, he's just going to win because his luck is going to be the best. Honestly, I probably would have been better off just declining their offer. But after hearing how graduating was a guarantee for success later in life, I just couldn't say no. But then, actually standing there in front of the school, I started to feel lost, like I didn't belong there. I couldn't feel myself losing my nerve. Still, I can't just stand here in front of the gate forever. Frozen in place, murmuring to myself, I looked down at the acceptance letter clutched in my hand. It said there'd be a meeting for all incoming students in the main hall at 8am. 
The meeting still isn't for a little while, but I should probably just head in. Yeah. Yeah, let's do this. I gathered up all my determination and tried to act like I'd done this a million times before. Yeah, I mean, props to Makoto. I mean, if he's got this much gusto already, there's no reason that he couldn't. I took my first step toward the main hall. This is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. There's a really elegant clock over there in the corner. It says it's 7.10 a.m. The meeting doesn't start until 8 o'clock, so there's still a full 50 minutes left. It makes sense nobody else would be here yet. I was so wound up, I got here way too early. I have plenty of time before the meeting. Just standing around waiting isn't exactly... I should take a look around the school. Maybe that'll help me calm down a little. I am a student here now, so there shouldn't be any problem with me having a look around, right? It'll help me kill some time, if nothing else. Trying to play it cool, I took my first step into Hope's Peak Academy. It was also my first step towards starting a new life at a new school. At least, that's what I was hoping for. Dun dun dun! What the? But the instant I took the first step forward, my view became warped. Twisted. Figuratively or literally? It was like some kind of delusion. Melting away and mixing together into something else. Spinning, mixing, melting away, and spinning again. And the next moment... Everything went black. That was... How it all began. And how life as I knew it came to an end. Is Mikado going to die? <laughs> that wouldn't really be luck at that point. I should have realized. I kind of combined both what I wanted to say and the line. The reason I was brought to Hope's Peak Academy wasn't because I was the... Wasn't because I had ultimate good luck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it was so I could experience ultimate despair. Damn. Welcome to Despair High School. Ah, we're entering the prologue. Nifty. You want to save the data? I mean, I haven't really done much, but sure, prologue, school life checkpoint. Yes, immediately going into the save slot one. You know, Ichi. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. I'm in a classroom. What? Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body feels... heavy. It's pretty normal for me to zonk out in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but... What was I doing asleep here just now? This isn't a classroom I've ever seen before. Heck is going on? Welcome to Hope's Peak Academy. Firstly, we'd like to explain the basic controls. You can use the mouse to adjust your aim. Oh, can I do that right now? I'd rather, I'd rather use the mouse. Excuse me for a moment while I unplug this controller. You can use the mouse to adjust your aim. You aim at an object you can interact with, you can press the left mouse button. And presto, you'll investigate that object. Use the WASD to adjust your viewpoint. Or you can press and hold the right mouse button. Okay, that's a typo. And move the mouse around. Why don't you, why don't you try looking around the classroom? Okay. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay, so a clock. Let's investigate the clock. Jeez, I can't believe it's already 8 o'clock. So I've been out for, what, what was it? 50 minutes? It was 7.10, right? It was just after 7 when I first got here. Has it really almost been an hour since then? 
Uh, what is this? Congrats on getting in. Hope Peak Academy. Yeah. That's the desk I fell asleep on. I can still see a line of drool. I must have left there. I'll have to clean that up later. Well, just clean it up now with your sleeve. Don't l later. Hey, what's that on the desk? Why does that look like a kid's drawing? An orientation guide? Hey there, new kid. The next semester is about to start. Starting today. This school will be your entire world. Oh, good god. It's some kind of cheap looking pamphlet. There's something handwritten on it. Ah, oh, god damn it. The next semester is about to start. Starting today, this school will be your entire world. What the hell? Is this some <laughs> Is this someone's idea of a joke? Hmm. Uh, is that a projector or a security cam? Is that a surveillance camera? Yeah. It's a dangerous world we live in. I guess they have to I guess they have these to keep weirdos from just wandering in. Mm. Or they have them set up to keep weirdos from wandering out. There's a TV. The school is funded by the national government. Wait, what? The school has national government funding? So I guess it's not that weird to have TVs in here. How the hell does this school continue to function like... What? Okay, something feels off. I wonder what it is. Oh, I would have thought that was going to be something. Uh, I don't want to leave just yet, heaven forbid. Okay, so if I keep holding the D key to keep looking off in that direction, it stops me from going any further. Okay, and I don't want to look... I don't want to go to the door just yet, heaven forbid. That actually makes me leave. I'm just going to scour. Oh, I can... Oh, there's up and down. Interesting. Okay. What the heck? Oh, yeah, the windows are all bolted. <laughs> In any normal classroom, that's where a window should be. It looks like some kind of metal plate has been bolted over it. If I were to knock on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. Definitely metal. Thick, too. Very solid. Wait. Wait. That's not what matters here. More importantly, why are there metal plates over the windows? Okay, well, let's see. So, what might have happened is... I got myself so wound up, I passed out in the main hall, and then someone carried me here? That's true, it must mean... This is a classroom inside Hope's Peak! But then if that's true... That just raises more questions. This is all really strange. I mean, those metal plates covering the windows. It's like it's a prison or something. None of this makes any sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. It's already past the meeting time. Hmm, excuse me. There might be other students there now. You can leave the classroom by pressing the R key. Okay. Uh... I don't trust it yet. I'm still going to be looking around. Okay, nothing in the ceilings and nothing on the floors, interestingly enough. Okay, so what's special about this door? Oh, leave the area. Yes. Whoops. Hmm. Purple hallways. Jeez. This hallway is kind of weird, too. This is getting stranger by the second. I honestly have no idea what's going on. Well, for now, I'll just head to the main hall. Use the WASD keys to move through the hallway. Ooh, okay. I didn't realize that I could actually move through the halls. I thought it was going to be like a, uh... Oh, what's the, uh... Genre. Visual novel. Yeah. I mean, it, it technically kind of is with the text and just having to read it that way. But I thought it was just strictly going to be bound to that. Okay. Hold down the shift key while moving to run. Uh, what? Also, you can press the tab key to bring up a map. Why do I have a map already? Oh, probably the pamphlet offered one. Oh, I'll leave it at that. The, uh, press the tab key again to close the map. How convenient. Okay. C 
Class 1A. Ooh, this sensitivity is something. Woo! Can I lower that at all? Uh, controls, left shift. Uh, I guess not. <laughs> um, I don't want to go anywhere just yet. Oh, wait, hold on. That's right, I can lower my sensitivity on my mouse. Uh, the AV room. What the hell is this? Uh, spare, I think? Let me, uh... Let me just inspect some stuff. This is where I was, right? Room 1A. The door won't budge. Wait, this isn't where I came out of? 1B. The door's locked tight. Okay. Spare hotel. Spare hotel? I guess it's a place for people to stay overnight, but anyway, I need to get to the main hall. Yeah, I could say that. Hold on, is this going to the main hall? What is this? I wonder where this red door leads. I'm just starting to feel sick standing here. I mean, I can see Monokuma's face behind it, so that doesn't bode well. AV room. The AV room. It's... Locked. And back in the spare room. The school store. Oh, uh, store, not spare. <laughs> I guess it's not open. Hmm. That's an exit. What about you? Before I go anywhere. The nurse's office. Off limits, it looks like. Hmm. Uh, bathrooms. I'm guessing this is male? The boys' bathroom. Good thing I don't have to go. Yeah, you're right. The girls' bathroom. Not that it matters, but it's locked. <laughs> yeah. This is probably where I need to go, though. Indeed. By the time I got back to the main hall, everyone else was already there. Oh. Whoa, hey! Another new kid? Uh, I can kind of pinpoint where that voice belongs to. It's the kid with the beard. <laughs> I'm guar I guarantee. Huh? Then you guys are all. Yeah, we're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. Feels if like that's coming from the blue-haired chick that doesn't have the uh Lolita goth look so counting him that makes 15 seems like a good cutoff point but i wonder if this is everyone nerd in the back standing before me were the ultimate students that had been handpicked by the school i looked around at everyone who'd gathered there taking in their faces one at a time maybe i was just imagining it but i swear i could feel a kind of aura coming from each of them yeah, they all have their own quirks, for the most part. Hmm. Um, how's it going? My name's Makoto Naegi. Sorry I'm late. I had a bunch of stuff happened, and then all of a sudden I was just... asleep. Huh? Whoa, you too? Hmm. Things just keep getting... Curiouser and curiouser. I'm sorry if it gets on anybody's nerves. I'm gonna end up doing a bunch of voice acting unbeknownst to myself. I'm just gonna get into character. Mm-hmm. So strange. I declare beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is a strange situation indeed. Um. Oh, this is Makoto again. Um, uh, what are you talking about? I honestly have no idea what's going on right now. Got it! Just a moment! There's something else we must address. Listen to me! Okay, okay. Makoto, your tardiness is unacceptable. Surely you were aware of the meeting that was about to start at 8 a.m. sharp. You like some ultimate general student or something? Or ultimate military student? To be late on your first day is unspeakable. I must report you, and you must accept your due punishment. What? 
What's your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have a he didn't have any control over it. I mean, if all of you were asleep, then yes. That's right. Everyone just calm down. Listen, we don't all go around it. Why don't we just all go around and introduce ourselves? Huh? The hell? Now's no time for freaking introductions. I already know who you are, so <laughs> shut up. Maybe. But it may be good to at least find out who we all are before we before digging into the bigger problems here. I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other if we don't know each other? At least know each other's names. Yeah. That's a good point. Um... Okay, so let's get introductions out of the way. Then we can move on to whatever else. Sounds good? I'm still totally lost, but I think it's the best just to focus on getting to know each other for now. So I guess this is as good a chance as I'll get. I completely butchered reading that, but oh well. I already looked around at everyone up on- I already looked everyone up on the Hope's Peak Academy thread online, but... I still don't really know what kind of people they actually are. Time to find out. Uh, I only get a sample size of five right now? I'll start by talking to those five over there. Okay, bye. She just shut up and let the game explain itself. Aim at a student and press the left mouse button to talk to them. This conversation is important to the overall story, so keep track of how they go. Yeah, I'll try my best. And there's also cameras here, interestingly enough. A surveillance camera has what it looks like to be a gun attached to it. <laughs> there's no way that's a real gun, right? Oh, the, I can actually look at the gate, too. Interesting. A surveillance camera. Yep, okay, so the gun... It's still there. What about the gate? Holy cow! What's with this huge metal hatch? It looks like that kind of thing you'd see in a secret military base or something. This is the same main hall as I was in before, right? This door definitely wasn't there then, though. Hmm. What the hell? Yeah, I'm definitely looking at my surroundings before anything else. A mailbox? There's nothing inside. Maybe that'll be something... ...later to learn about? Is that we have to pick up mail, like, daily? There's a TV. The school is funded, okay. Yeah. Same message as before. Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I'm Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. Uh, sure. I mean, if we can, and you don't get on my nerves. Ultimate moral compass. Oh, ew. That's Kiyotaka. According to what I saw about him on the thread, he went to a famous private school and won top honors every year. He's basically a flawless honor student. He's also known for the work he's done with his community's public morals committee. Okay, he's got some redeeming shit, and he's not just a stick in the mud. They say he respects rules above all else, earning him the title of ultimate moral compass. Anyway, you can call me Taka. You said your name was Makoto Nagi, right? <laughs> That's a good name. A strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. If I ever see them again, I will. You hear me? And to keep that name from losing its value, you must devote yourself every single day. Okay. Got it. Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into it. Right? Right. You can back up and just say it. Don't spray it. This guy is kind of annoying. <laughs> I'm glad Makoto is at least on my side with this. But I mean, Makoto's. Technically supposed to be, uh, just the player in itself. Soko Fukawa. Not that you'll remember my name anyway, but I'm T -T Toko. Toko Fukawa. Are you cold? Ultimate writing prodigy. Okay, so this isn't the fanfic girl. So there's a difference. Yeah, she wrote a novel when she was 10 that got everyone talking and launched her literary career. 
and two years ago she released So Lingers the Ocean, a love story said to be her masterpiece. The book was such a hit with women that fishermen quickly shot to the top of every hottest men poll. <laughs> okay. Despite her age, she's won countless literary prizes, and all her books are instant bestsellers. Well, good for you. Well, actually, I don't know if she enjoys it, so... Which is why she's come to be known, uh, be known as the ultimate writing prodigy. What else would you call such a young and talented author? But I figured... She'd be a lovey-dovey type, what with her masterpiece being a romance and all. <laughs> I mean, you can't just judge books by the covers. She could be like that on the inside, just... What's your problem? Again, I just shut up and let the story tell itself. What? It's not polite to stare, you know. What the heck? Okay, so she's by... Polar. Stop staring at me like that, like I'm some filthy creature. Filthy creature? No, I, I just thought... I know, just... I know exactly what you thought. Not... <laughs> I, I know what you just thought. You just thought you'd never seen such an ugly woman. You just thought it was so funny. No, that's not what I was thinking at all. Don't bother trying to lie to me. I know it's true. Otherwise, you... I know you can't stand looking at me. Anyway... This is... This girl is just plain Jane as... As all hell. Like, there's nothing... Fantastic and nothing... Off-putting. So, I don't know what she, where she gets that thought. Plus, if she's writing books all the time, she's gotta be inside. Whatever. I don't really care. I'm used to it. Wow, talk about an inferiority complex. I was way off about what a successful author would look like. Would be like, excuse me. Sayaka Maizono. Hi, I'm Sayaka Maizono. I look forward to getting to know you. Nice to meet you too. The ultimate pop sensation. Oh, I kind of forgot that you were coming. The way she moves is positively mem ugh, mesmerizing and that pleasant scent i can't quite place sayaka maizono when i saw her name in that thread online frankly i was pretty surprised oh and they bring back the original photo she's in a pop group famous all across the country in fact she's their lead singer as the ultimate pop sensation she's in high demand to appear on tv and in magazines everywhere and yet, Junko is on magazines everywhere. I don't know. Okay. Th those two might butt heads a lot. <laughs> but actually, that's not the only reason I was so surprised to find out that she'd be going to the school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but... Oh, never mind. Did she have a bad accent or something? No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful. Almost like a doll or something. <laughs> I'm not a doll, you know. I'm alive. Huh? Did, did you just hear me? Uh... I'm psychic. Okay, she must have hit her head and she's got this ability now or something. Huh? <laughs> Kidding. I just have really good intuition. Shit, she's a sharp one. Hey, um... Huh. Hey, by any chance... Now what? Huh? Yeah, it must be. I'm sure of it. Hey, Makoto, did... Just hold on. Jeez, you guys. How long do you plan to waste our valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth? Uh, um... Asshole. Sorry, I just got carried away, I guess. You hear me? Self-introductions are for introducing yourself, not for bumbling through a bunch of idle chit-chat. Um... Y you're right. Sorry. Sorry, Makoto. We can talk about this later. I do... Uh, asshole! It sounded like Sayaka really had something she wanted to say. It's not like we'll ever see each other again. Like she said, we can talk later. I have my suspicions. She's the forefront of the face. She's the forefront of the group. She might be the forefront to death. <laughs> Leon Kuwata. Yo, the name's Leon Kuwata. What's up? 
Was that the name, or the voice actor that I thought at the very beginning? The ultimate baseball star, indeed. With your uniform on, or with your uniform off, I almost didn't recognize you. It was purely just the face you made. I recognize that name. Yep. He played for the National High School Champs at their cleanup as their cleanup hitter. The ultimate baseball star. I don't know why it continues to show the exact same stuff. And that superb athletic specimen is before us now. You? Seriously? Huh? Uh, what's wrong? Uh, nothing. I'm just surprised. I figured with you being the ultimate baseball star and all. Give me a break. What? Were you expecting some kid with a shaved head? Shaved head? No, I was just expecting more of a, you know, sporty-looking traditional baseball player type. I mean, when I found that article and picture of you online, that's how you looked then. <laughs> oh, shit. That, that's gotta hurt him. What? Oh man, you found that picture of me playing baseball? Seriously? I hate that picture. What the crap? This is not cool. This is so not cool. Seriously, I'm like mega embarrassed right now. I didn't have a choice, okay? Shaving your head like like that is part of a national championship regulation. I mean, seriously? But now I refuse to cut my hair. And I'm not gonna dye it back to normal either. Hey, listen. I wonder what his actual hair color is. I just realized, if he dyed his hair as well, that means he dyed his facial hair and his eyebrows. Huh. Actually, can I be totally honest with you? You know... I don't like baseball, like, at all. Okay, this is what I was curious about with the last girl, or the ultimate writer. I was curious of whether or not they actually enjoyed the things that they were good at. I've never gone to a single practice. <laughs> okay. Good for him. But, I mean, if he doesn't enjoy it, bad for him. He's never practiced? And he was still his team's star player? He's some kind of prodigy. Yeah! And as soon as I got accepted here, I quit baseball for good. I have my own dream for the future. A dream? For the future? My only path in life is getting into music. Oh, cool. You can feel that star quality aura I have, right? You know what I mean. I'm gonna be a singer. So all I need is a songwriter and someone on guitar and we're set. I mean, you can talk to the idol over there. You might want to see what goes all on in the background. How cool is that? This new version of me, that's what's chasing after- uh, This new version of me that's chasing after my dream is like, super cool to the max. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I never imagined I'd hear something like that from a baseball star. A baseball all-star. And... Hifumi Yamada. I am Hifumi Yamada. What if you want to call me by my nickname? The Alpha and the Omega. I don't mind. So you take up both roles. Alright. The ultimate fanfic creator. Oh, I am going to hate you so much. By the way, how much do you know about the world of 2D art? Well, considering I'm playing a game of one, at least a bit. World of 2D? <laughs> well, in that world, I am well known and supremely well regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. Mm -hmm. Once, I sold 10,000 copies of, my w <laughs> of one of my fan comics at a school festival. A school festival? You said you sold 10,000? Jesus Christ. The event has passed into legend. Hmm. Some of them didn't get it, of course, saying I tainted the event. How stupid can you be? That's too bad about them, but selling 10,000 copies like that is definitely pretty remarkable. However... The, the words of such idiots mean nothing to me. I'm like Van Gogh, utterly unappreciated in my time. I am a soldier, serving right and serving night and day to destroy all mindless pre uh, preconceptions about fan fiction. All right. By the end of this game, I hope you change my mind on it. I've never been the biggest fan. I'm sure if you were to observe my work in Mr. Naegi, 
you would uh, comprehend its greatness immediately. Mm -hmm. For my work, it's filled with the deepest meaning. What? What kind of meaning? Yes, indeed. It's about embracing our basest urges. He's not gonna go all Freudian on me, is he? I don't think I want to comprehend it. <laughs> okay, now to talk to those five people over there. My guess is that it's gonna devolve from normal to somewhat weird to fucking insane very quickly. But I don't know how many students are actually here now that I think about it. Uh, Aoi Asahino. I'm Aoi Asahina, Owie, okay. but my friends just call me Hina. What's up? I was originally, when I when I stuttered there before, I was going to make a joke about, like, Owie, like, hurting myself or something. Alright, I'll leave it as is. Aoi Asahina. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Hina. Swimming pro. Yeah, I kind of guessed as much. My eyes immediately gravitated, gravitated towards something else. I'm a deplorable human being. <laughs> Aoi Ina Asahina. She's been breaking records in every competition she's been in since elementary school. Damn. She's even been chosen as an, as an upcoming Olympic cadet. Damn. She is, without a doubt, the ultimate swimming pro. Combination of her ability, appearance, and, um, purport. My man, Makoto! <laughs> has been widely discussed online. <laughs> so, uh, what was your name again? Sorry, totally forgot. Is she also an airhead? Makoto Naegi. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I knew it was something like that. Uh, no, not something like that. It is that. You got it. Sure, sure, got it. Here, I'll hammer it into my brain right now. Yeah. Makoto Naegi. Makoto... Naegi. Oddly enough, I actually do the same thing. She just kept repeating my name and moving her finger across her... Wait, uh, across her palm. Like she was writing something. What are you doing? Huh? You don't know? If you want to remember someone's name, you gotta write it on your hand three times. I've never heard of that before in my life. Mm. Hey, by the way, how do you spell your last name? You spell it exactly like it sounds. Um, th this might be a joke that's lost in translation. Ah, uh, there's something in my eye. Woohoo! <laughs> well, I have no idea. <laughs> I'll just figure it out later and write it down. Okay. Gotcha, Hina. Anyway, glad to meet you. Uh, sure, same here. Well, one thing I learned is she's totally easygoing and bursting with energy. And bursting at the seams, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> Uh, I'm deplorable. Chihiro Fujisaki. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. I also see this person a lot for some odd reason. But I kind of think I have an idea where this is gonna go. Chihiro Fujisaki, ultimate programmer. Oh, cool! Sorry, I kind of get embarrassed whenever I introduce myself like this. Anyway, I hope we can get along. Same here, nice to meet you. Huh? Huh? Maybe it's just my imagination, but... Uh, have we met before? Uh, I don't think so. We just met for the first time, which is why I said, Nice to meet you. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, good point. Sorry. You don't have to apologize for that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hiro Fujisaki is known for the cutting-edge program she's created. She's the ultimate programmer. She's also got that timid little bunny type thing going, which has endeared her to her legion of fans. Um, hey, so listen. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Uh, what are you apologizing for now? Um, well, just because you seem upset. You must be mad at me, right? No, not at all. I was just lost in thought about something. Lost in thought? Yeah, it had nothing to do with me being upset or anything. Thank you. Fuck, that's cute. Oh, that's good. I was afraid maybe you didn't like me. <laughs> I'm glad. Huh. 
I'm starting to under I'm starting to understand why her fans are so into her. Kyoko Kitigiri. The silent type. <laughs> I'm silent back. Um can I ask your name? My name is Kyoko Kirigiri. Oh, that is not how I thought it was pronounced. Kirigiri. For some other reason that just sounds odd. Mm. Ultimate mystery. Oh wait, no, this was one of the girls that I didn't know about, right? Yeah, that's right. So I learned them ev eventually. Okay. She's pretty tight-lipped, huh? But, you know, her name didn't show up anywhere in that Hope's Peak Academy thread. And I did see that there were students like me. Ones who didn't have any real identity or presence. Could this girl be one of them? Um, so, what are you doing at this school? What? What's that supposed to mean? No, I just meant, uh, getting in invited here means you're some kind of ultimate something, right? So, what ultimate something are you? That doesn't matter. Why should I tell you? What? Well, I guess you don't have to tell me. Ooh. No, I don't have to tell you. So I'm not going to. Hmm. Alright. Mysterious? Nothing about her turned up online, so... I was thinking maybe she got picked by chance like me, but... Her face is like an iron mask. If she doesn't want to tell me anything, there's no point in asking. Junko Enoshima. Alright. Hi! I'm Junko Enoshima. Charmed, I'm sure. This voice actress. I. I could kind of pinpoint it. And. As much as it's gonna piss people off, just get ready for my interpretation. The ultimate fashionista. Anybody would recognize this one. She's got more charm and presence than any high school girl in the country. She's the ultimate fashionista. I've seen her on tons of magazine covers, but... I feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality. What? Huh? Come on. Oh, are you talking about my cover photos and junk? Well, of course. Oh, that... Uh, those are totally photoshopped. Uh, photoshopped? Yeah. You know, edit out to hell and back. With, like, computers and junk. Oh. So they aren't real? What can we do? Come on. Don't act so surprised. You're gonna make me all depressed. Totally. It's totally normal these days to photoshop the crap out of those cover photos. If you're surprised by that, you'd be totally blown away by a certain dangerous little diva of ours. <laughs> they make the eyes and junk super big and tweak the skin so it looks all ceramic and porcelain. Oh. So many dreams of getting getting crushed today. Wait, can I... I don't know if there's like things that you can go back to talk to other people or something. Oh well. Mondo Awada. Name's Mondo Awada. Nice to fucking meet ya. I really like this voice actor. <laughs> the ultimate biker gang leader. The stereotypical pompadour. Mondo Awada, huh? Which means... God damn it. This recurring theme of bringing back the stuff. He's the current leader of the largest biker gang in Japan. He's earned respect, even awe, from every gang in the country. He's the ultimate biker gang leader. Um... Nice to meet you, too. Yo. Hell yeah. I'd better be careful around him. One wrong word and I could wake up at the bottom of the sea. Huh, that's not... That, that's not always true. He could be a real sweetheart once you get to know him. I mean, if he's garnered that much attention from the bike gang he leads, there's gotta be a reason for that. Those four over there are the only four are the only ones left. And I might just be correct in assuming these are the crazies. 
Sakura Ogami. I am Sakura Ogami. I am Sakura O- no. <laughs> I immediately went to pushing my throat in. The ultimate martial artist. Cool. Oh, jeez. I almost asked her if she was a guy. <laughs> the day I say something like that out loud is the day I get turned into a human meatball. Now I remember, she competed in a martial arts tournament in America and won, despite being a girl. Alright, I'm gonna leave that as is, as is, Makoto. I'm not gonna get deeper into that. She's the ultimate martial artist. She's fought in over 400 matches and never lost a single one. Holy shit. That thread also said a bit more about her. They call her Ogre. Oh. Some even think she's the closest known relative to the primates. The famed missing link. I feel bad, but it's funny. Any incoming Hope's Peak students who are reading this, let me warn you right now. If you value your life, avoid her at all costs. Standing in front of her now, I don't think they were exaggerating, exaggerating about it. Hey. Hey, you. Uh, yes? I snapped to attention without even realizing it. Then she started to poke and prod my body. She's gonna be a sweetheart, isn't she? Um, what are you? I see. Oh, she's just sizing me up. Fuck. Muscular quality and quantity is right around that... <laughs> what is right around that of an extremely ordinary high school student. <laughs> what a shame. You're not at all fit to act as my training partner. If you want, uh, check out the baseball player or the gang leader. I'm not sure that's such a shame for me. Byakuya Togami. Name's Byakuya Togami. I, I, I can wholeheartedly say that anyone who can just spit out this dude's name really quickly, Byakuya, without fucking stuttering up, because I feel as if like I'm still messing it up. You have my full praise, including the voice actor. The ultimate affluent product. Uh, was that a G? It looked like an eight. Progeny. Hi. Uh, nice to meet you. Another silent type, huh? That's the most half half-assed introduction I've ever heard. But there isn't really anything I can do about it. Even among the ultimate students, this one is special. Yakuya Tago uh, Tagami is the heir apparent apparent of his family's massive financial conglomerate. He's already started managing business operations, and his own personal assets are, well, vast. His title of ultimate affluent progeny, I'm still unsure, is completely accurate. He's the definition of exceptional. That's everything I learned about him from the hopes from that Hope's Keep- <laughs> Hope's Peak Academy thread online. Come on. I'm gonna keep stuttering over that by the end of this game. To the point where it won't be recognizable. We're done with introductions, right? How much longer are you going to stand there? Go away. I'm sick of looking at you. Okay, Hazora says to me, you and I will never stand on the same level. Like a king in training. I don't like you at all. Yasuhiro Hagakuri. Kure. I'm Yasuhiro Hagakure. Hagakure. Hero for short. Yeah. Take it easy, yeah? I know I will. Nice to meet you, Hero. You are the ultimate clairvoyant. Oh. Cool. Yasuhiro Hagakure, known as Supernova, is the psychic in the psychic community. The trend-setting ultimate clairvoyant. Uh... I think the, uh, pop sensation, not pop sensation, yes, ultimate pop sensation, whatever the fuck, the idol, uh, is kind of trying to steal your thunder. Honestly, I don't really get all that fortune-telling stuff. It's pretty much beyond me. Still, I can't help wondering if there's any truth to it. Could it be? Uh, okay, I give up. Huh? Well, what happened? For serious. I saw it. I'm- I'm trying to make my voice that low, but I really can't. I looked right at it. Seriously. I totally saw it. Uh, saw what? Hmm. 
a guardian angel with a crazy perm chasing after Bigfoot, running off with a skyfish in its mouth. A guardian angel with a crazy perm chasing after Bigfoot. This might be foreshadowing of him, like, coming out of the shower having to chase after, uh, Ogura? And that guardian angel is your guardian angel. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. But hey, we should grab some brewski sometime and get real deep into Lemuria and its civilization. The fuck is Lemuria? What? We're not allowed to drink, we're in high school. You know? Oh, I'm actually 21. I've been held back a few times. See, and well, it's a long story. A few times? Yeah, I bet that is a long story. And who are you? Celeste. No last name. I do not think we have been introduced. I am Celestia Ludenberg. Huh. So everyone else had like a proper name to call him. Celestia Ludenberg. Something tells me that you were Ludenberg yourself after this game came out. The ultimate gambler. <laughs> Ludenberg, it is my name. But if you don't mind, I would prefer if you just call me Celeste. Um, you are Japanese, right? Huh? Of course. Why do you ask? If you don't mind, could you tell me your real name? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you were talking about. Celestia Ludenberg is my real name. But as I mentioned, I'd much rather you call me Celeste. Gotcha. She's polite, but... Pretty forceful at the same time. I don't think she wants to say any more about it. I guess the rumors in that thread were right about her. Wait, so... I... I haven't... I haven't truly been paying attention to which ones he already knew. Like, there's... There was only one that he didn't know about previously. Oh, well. Fuck it. The self-styled Celestia Ludenberg. She's the ultimate gambler who's never lost a bet. Hmm. Other than her obvious lore of love, <laughs> of gothic Lolita clothes, everything about her is wrapped in a veil of lies. They say she entered and won an underground gambling tournament, earning the title Queen of Liars. She totally cleaned out the other players, taking their life savings and laughing as she did it. <laughs> I look forward to getting to know you better. I read that as Makoto, but oh well. <laughs> that smile is beyond deceptive. I'd better watch myself around her. And with that, all the introductions are done. Hmm. Even though they're all ultimate, they each have their own individual sort of... something. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, time to get down to business. There's no time to stand around making friends like a bunch of dull-eyed baboons. Uh, oh, that that's true. I think someone said something about a bigger problem or something. What was that about? Um, listen. Well, you see... Uh, um... Makoto, you said a bunch of stuff happened and then you were just asleep, right? Well, the same is true for all of us. What? Seriously? How did you not pick that up, Makoto? I mean, seriously? Just after us... It, ugh, just after each of us got into the main hall, we lost consciousness. And when we came to, we were somewhere here in the school. That's what happened to you, right? Uh, but that's just... Weird. That everyone... That every one of us would get knocked out like that? Piece of shit! Exactly! That's why we're all freaking out! And that's not the only thing. You saw where all the windows... <laughs> Wait, you saw where all the windows in the classes and hallways were, right? I would have said how, but oh well. Uh, Kiyotaka. Okay, this is the forceful one. But instead of normal glass windows, it was a bunch of big metal plates. What's that about? Are you for real? Plus, all my stuff's missing. Even my cell phone. Um... Yeah, you're right. I haven't seen my PDA anywhere. And then there's the main hall here. The front exit is completely blocked by some giant metal hatch. What does this mean? But there isn't... But there wasn't anything like that when I first got here. What the heck? What the heck? What's it doing here? Aww. 
maybe we got caught up in some kind of, like, you know, crime or something? Is it, like... What? Like, a kidnapping? You think maybe someone grabbed us and hauled us off and we're not actually at school? Hey, come on. Come on. Don't think like that. Cheer up. I bet this is all just part of the hut of the school's orientation procedure. You know? Yeah, I'm sure that's it. So I'm just gonna take it easy for a little bit. I see. Oh. So you think they wanted to do something to surprise us? What the hell? Uh well, that is the weirdest face he's made so far. Also, is his art style different than everyone else's? I I don't know. I just saw him about him. Huh. Well, if that's all it is, it's nap time for me. You know what I mean. I was up way too late last night, so I could use a little shut-eye. I could feel everyone's tension evaporating. But then... It began. Okay, what's going on? Hey, something's on the TV. <laughs> I can just imagine them saying that. Testing, testing, mic check, one, two, this is a test of the school broadcast system. Ah, oh, that voice. <laughs> Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. The voice seemed totally out of place. It was so playful. So completely unconcerned. I couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. It was like hearing someone laugh at the scene of an accident. Uh, to all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at... Right now! <laughs> Please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. That's all. I'll be waiting. Hmm. That silhouette. <clears throat> what the hell was that just now? Goodbye. Well then, if you'll excuse me. All right, Byakuya is no time for shit. He's going right over. Hey, what? You're gonna gonna take off like that? Could it be? Oh yeah, now I get it. This whole thing was just to get us all pumped up for the in the entrance ceremony. <laughs> Man, thank God it was all a joke. I'd be totally freaked out if this was real. You know? All right, guess I'll head out too. Wonder what they got planned for us next. Uh, Damn, I was totally looking forward to that nap too. Why'd they have to go and kill go why they have to go and kill the mood? Huh? Oh, I love this music. Hero's gone too. Oh, wait for me! I wanna go with you. <laughs> and Celeste. That is that then. I'll see you all there. Anyway. Not that anyone cares, but I'm going to. Everyone took off for the gym, but I was frozen where I stood. That uneasy feeling I had had before. I couldn't get out of my mind. And it looked like I wasn't the only one. Uh, um. At least we have someone who is realistic. You're so gonna die first, though. Ugh. You're the f you were- you're such a forefront character. This- this doesn't seem right. This is bad. Yeah. That announcement was totally weird. However... Oh, Kyoko's here too. Maybe. But just staying doesn't put... Doesn't mean we'll be safe. I, I immediately wanted to put my hands together, like, and put them in my lap, folded, <laughs> just to get into character. Besides, aren't you guys just a little bit curious to find out what's going on around here? I see. Oh! Sakura. I gotta remember it's Sakura. That's easier to remember. And I'm not gonna call her Ogre. That's fucking rude. If we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. I... I guess she's right. But still... I'm kind of... I know, I'm really nervous. We don't have a choice. We have to go. What was that? They said to the... They said to go to the gym, right? You want to save the data? Uh, yes. In fact, actually... Uh, before the game continues, I want to save here, uh, actually leave the recording here, because I, I plan on, uh, recording these in one hour sessions, just so I, uh, can break it up decently well.
Uh, but for now, uh, I hope you're looking forward to more. This is really cool, seeing all these character interactions and seeing how they uh, are just brought into the storyline. We're still left with questions that will probably get answered in the next few minutes <laughs> in the next episode. But for now, I hope, I hope you're looking forward to more as much as I am. But for now, have a nice day.